Hey, hey, what is up, Andrew? It is YouTube here. We are back with another request, this time from The Beat Conductor. Day 12 of requesting Austin Archie's playthrough of Welcome Back, O oh Sleeping Dreamer. Another drummer you need to see, Andrew. One of the best in the scene, master of double strokes. Hold up. That's what she said. This is a Minor Symbols drum playthrough of Lorna Shaw's song, Welcome Back, O oh Sleeping Dreamer. It's insane, I've never seen a drummer so relaxed and so fast. Moral of the story, if you request a video every day for 12 days, I shall do it. Now, I have uh, previously done Lorna Shaw to the Hellfire. That was the official video though, but now we actually get to focus in a studio setting, uh, and I know Minor Symbols do an amazing job of these recordings. So the actual drum cam footage of Austin Archie playing through. Welcome back, O oh Sleeping Dreamer. Let's hit it.
Hey, I'm Austin Archie, and these are the symbols you just saw me play. Classics Custom Dual 18-inch China. Pure Alloy 14-inch Medium Hi-Hat. Pure Alloy 18-inch Medium Crash. Classics Custom Dark 8-inch Splash. Classics Custom Dual 10-inch Splash. Pure Alloy 10-inch Splash. Pure Alloy 19-inch Medium Crash. Byzance 20-inch Polyphonic Crash. Pure Alloy 18-inch China. Byzance 22-inch Heavy Hammer Drive. I'm also using Minel Drum Honey. The Beat Conductor, that one was for you and any Austin Archie, Lorna Shaw fans out there. Um, really, really good to get to this video focusing on the drums for this music. Now, I feel like I need to do this disclaimer on all of these type of videos. I am not an extreme player. How dare you? Oh, I make no apologies for that, Greta. It's just, we all play how we play. We're all into the music that we're into. One of the good things about doing all these videos is I've been exposed to a lot of music that I wouldn't normally, or I, honestly, I probably would never have listened to in my life. So that is a, this is a good thing. Diversity is, it's a good thing, right? So I'll just put that out there as a disclaimer. So I can't really comment on many of the technical aspects of the double kick. I don't even own a double kick. I've been absolutely fine with uh, the way I've played uh, for many decades without a double kick because I don't go for this extreme stuff. There's some things obviously you need a double kick for. That's obvious. Just putting it out there. Um, a couple of things that really stood out to me in that video. Sitting really high, right? Sitting really high, sort of almost, I wouldn't go as far as Ringo high, but like jazz, old school jazz drummer sitting high. I was about to bring up um, the balance required to play these kind of double kick rhythms at that intensity and that speed. And I'm assuming seat height is going to be really crucial for the balance aspect needed. I mean, not only the stamina required and the physicality of playing double kick that fast, but balance must be so important. All you double kick guys out there, hit me in the comments with uh, any insights you have on double kick, sitting high balance versus sitting low, or if that affects it at all, or whether that's just completely up to the individual. I'd be interested in your feedback. I mean, one other thing that really stands out to me here, and I think the beat conductor, you commented that this is the most relaxed you've seen someone who's, you know, playing this fast. And one small insight, that I've brought up many a time on videos. And one thing that I've really noticed is relaxing your jaw. Now I was watching Austin Archie's, this might seem a bit weird, but I was watching his mouth, his jaw, and a lot of those really fast passages. Mouth open, teeth not touching. You might be thinking, what the hell man? What about the drugs? Talk about the drugs. Well, I am talking about small little details with regards to drums and some of the little one percenters that could push you over could be a game changer in your drumming. One of the game changers for me with uh, improving my groove, with uh, improving my playing in general, being more relaxed because you're always going to play better when you're relaxed. You don't play good or fast from uh, tensing up your muscles loose right you don't see a boxer walking around the ring going Arr! they're bouncing around the ring why because they're trying to keep loose same for us on the drums loose jaw uh we hold so much tension in our face and in our jaw shoulders too i actually felt like my shoulders were up a bit then shoulders down relaxed and you're almost letting the sticks and your body do the work and not overthinking it, not getting in your own way. I feel like this video, and again, not being an extreme player, not being able to break down a lot of these incredible rhythms and the incredible stamina on display, but just observing as an outsider and as someone who obviously some of you want, still, you still want me to check this stuff out and because it's out of my wheelhouse, that can be interesting, right? And 
I am a student of drums. I am here to learn. So what I'm learning from that is stay relaxed. You want to play faster? Relax more. <laughs> See, it's, a, it's really, really difficult to do. I can't always do it. It's something that I think about and I guess I sort of visualize that aspect of my plane of being able to just stay completely focused but relaxed. It's a real flow stage to try and get into. Overlay that with your filming a video for minor symbols, you know, which I'd be a bit, I'd be a bit nervous filming for minor symbols. These are legendary symbol makers. You got a whole bunch of people filming you and engineering you. And it doesn't matter. You still just completely in control, relaxed. You're still able to get into your bubble and into your zone. Huge drum teacher tip for you. And a strange one possibly to take away from this video. Maybe record yourself. Just, just play normal. Record yourself. Then record the same thing with your teeth not touching. <laughs> it can be crazy what happens. The flow on effect of those teeth not touching. All of a sudden you've lost all the tension in your face. All of a sudden you've lost the tension in your body. You play better. Magic. These double kicks, man. These double kicks. The cool thing on all this really high level metal stuff for me, this high level extreme stuff is it's not just machine gun. I made that joke in the video, Brrr, machine guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a bit of that. There's also subdivision. There is also nuance in the double kicks. There are syncopated double kicks, accented double kicks. Also on the hands, some really nice accented dynamic work on the hands, but the double kick stuff, it's one thing to be able to play in a straight line fast on drums, you know, whether it's kicks or hands or whatever. That's one thing, just raw speed. It's another thing to have pattern speed and it's another thing to be able to break that up, play syncopated and land on a dime. Brr, 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 like those syncopated offbeat double kicks that are just landing right on the money. And then it's, it's hard to stop and start at that speed. I wouldn't say it's easy to just play in a straight line for a long time either. It's just a different type of difficulty. And to land like that, to land that accurately, again, probably comes back to the relaxation. I definitely need to see this person play live because um, that would be crazy and also super impressive if he's able to maintain this level of Zen playing live. But yeah, you know, Got to check that out. And this is uh, this was a great pick. And uh, the beat conductor, anyone else who did request this, because a few people did request this video, this is for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And honestly, as I say, as a student of drumming, as a drum teacher myself, I'm always keen to learn. And there's some crazy, crazy players out there that uh, you can always learn from. And Austin Archie's one of those for me. Outside of my wheelhouse, but man full respect for that uh insane display of chops and drumming and musicality guys i hope you dug this video remember original video in the description please do go along support the artist check it out hit them with a subscribe tell them i sent you while you're feeling generous please do hit me with subscribe a like and leave a comment with what you thought of this video and what you would like me to check out in the future if you have a direct reaction request that you want to guarantee gets on this channel that is via the paypal link if you're looking for other ways to support my channel i do have a patreon it's just five dollars a month and you will get access to the blocked videos Remember you as a subscriber of my channel get access to a full and free 30 day trial over at Drumio. Access to the best instructors in the world, whether it be extreme drumming, jazz, fusion, Latin, they got you covered. And also over 6,000 well-known songs transcribed right there, ready for you to pick up and learn. Guys, take it easy. Until next time, keep chopping wood.